The concept behind my idea is to use the heat energy from the bacteria in my compost bin, which produces heat as it breaks down the waste materials in my compost bin. And I'm going to use that heat to heat cold water traveling into my compost bin and then the cold, and then the water coming out of my compost bin will be hot water heated by the energy from the bacteria. And I'll be using copper piping tubing inside my compost bin in a spiral to conduct that heat away. And the other benefit of this contraption is that I'll get free compost as well. Now, all the material that I am using to build these are all available online and I'll leave links to those products in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in a few seconds, we should get the water coming out. Any minute now. There it is. So that proves that it pumps all the way around. And that's not too bad. There's a bit of leakage, there's a bit of leakage there, but uh, it'll do for first test. Now I decided to reduce the diameter of the copper pipe coil as I wanted to concentrate the copper tubing at the centre of the compost bin where it should be at its hottest. That, if we connect the plastic tubing to it, When it's working, you'll get cold water from the bucket and you'll pump it around into the compost, into the copper, copper piping, copper tubing, and then as you pump it, you'll get hot water here, it will be coming out. So you'll pump cold water in, and then this will be hot water. So eventually, after a few minutes, this bucket should turn from cold into hot. That's when it's working. So this is where it's going to be situated in the corner. I've already got one here, which is actually growing some potato plants at the moment, but uh, never mind. And I've got lots of stuff, lots of compost for it. I've got lots, lots of leaves from the garden, and I've got lots of vegetable matter for my kitchen. This is the stinky one. This stinks. Got lots of flies. I like it in the middle like that. 
thing. You're supposed to have layers of green waste and brown waste. So the next layer is going to be grass cuttings. I guess the temperature that I needed my compost to reach before I could get any hot water out of it would be about 40 degrees Celsius. And to monitor the temperature of my compost, I decided to buy a Bluetooth hygrometer. And the first one I bought was a small module with the sensor all included. And I put this inside a small water bottle to keep it waterproof and then placed the whole of the unit and the water bottle into the centre of my compost. This worked okay for a while, but the Bluetooth range was nowhere near the manufacturer stated range, and it was proving difficult for me to monitor the temperature unless I was standing close to my compost. And I found out the reason for this was because of the high humidity inside the compost, which was degrading the Bluetooth signal strength. So to overcome this problem somewhat, I decided to buy a Bluetooth thermometer which had the sensor on the end of a long probe. And so I could place the probe in the middle of my compost and have the thermometer unit on the top. And this worked fine and it gave me a much stronger Bluetooth signal and I could monitor the temperature of my compost from anywhere in my home using the accompanying app on my iPhone. And the overall unit only cost me about 18 pound. And eventually my compost did indeed reach just over 40 degrees Celsius. And so then I decided to test it out and let's see what happened next. This is the temperature of the cold water to start with, 14 degrees. Coming out now. And that feels, that feels nice and warm that does. Well, let's just measure the temperature of this water. I've only got a little bit at the moment, but let's just measure the temperature. So if I just put this probe in, uh, let's measure the temperature. You can see there, probes in it. 20 degrees at the moment, 22 degrees Celsius. 23. So it's about 23 degrees at the moment. Whereas the cold water temperature is, I think it was, it was 15, 14 degrees, was it? 15 degrees, 14 degrees. So it's a nine degrees difference. Well, I've managed to get about a third of a bucket of warm water, actually. I just had to wait about five minutes for the, uh, the water to warm up again from the compost. So there you go, I proved that I can get hot water from my compost, but it's not a practical system at the moment for, for producing any amount of usable water. But I do believe that there is great potential here and all I need to do is have a system where I can continually circulate the water around from the compost and have it feeding into a storage container where it can store the water. And as it continually circulates around, I do believe that I can get water to a temperature of 40 degrees or higher. So I'm not going to give up on this and that's going to be my next plan. So if you're interested to see if I am finally successful in my mission, then please subscribe. And if you like this video, thumbs it up and share if you can. And thanks for watching.